Are you giving your audience too many options, too many things that they could do at the end of your video? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. And is it even possible to give people too many options? Well, I want you to think of it this way. How many times have you gotten an email, seen a video, gone to a website, engaged with a company because you're looking for something specific? and you get eight different choices as to what could happen next. Think in your own mind, what, what does that leave you with? It leaves you with too many options. In short videos, in short blog posts, in emails especially, and we are just as guilty <laughs> as anybody else, you got, there's so many things that they can do. So, I want you to think in terms of two, a primary and a secondary. So as an example close, if you'd like more information, you can go here. If you're ready and be specific, by the way, not just a website, a specific address, or the link is in the description below. Or if you're ready to have a conversation, you can reach me the information at the end of the video, as an example. In an email, maximum of three, but really, if you're in this class, you're, you're researching or you're doing something other than you're ready to go, click here, check this resource out, et cetera. Or if you're not new to this, but you're trying to get further information or you're trying to dig deeper, click here. In other words, try to stick to two. An email, maybe three but really you're best with two. Always have a primary and a secondary. Why, even though you've got so many different things, we'll send them to the resources page where they can then look and start to contrast what those different options are. Let them get a little bit further information. Let them make the choice to get into that because if you try to, in a two or three minute video or an email, as we know, nobody is gonna read paragraphs of information. Nobody's gonna go through eight different options in, in links in an email, as an example. They're just not gonna do it. So don't present them with that. You figure out what, are the, what is the most important thing that you want them to do, focus on that, and maybe give them a second option. That's my recommendation. And I think if you think about it, that's the way that is gonna work best for you. You're gonna get the best response. Hope you found that valuable. If you did, there's lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy. And if you haven't been a guest at Video Socials, this is my second option. Come to videosocials.net and click on the guest tab. RSVP, stop in. We'd love to see you. Love to have a chance to, to meet you and learn about your business. Again, Mark Bullock, co-founder of videosocials.net, phoneblogger.net. Have a great day.